Hey guys, I'm building another one of these here welding tables. They're really heavy duty. It's made out of half inch steel plates that are six inches wide and four feet long. Um, so you can see the table, really strong, nice wheels, bottom up leveler system on it. This bolt's all thread, nuts welded on them. And so I'm building another one. This one's smaller. This one's only going to be six slats um, long and 35 inches wide. And so this one's four feet wide. So yeah, I'm cutting the channel here with a plasma cutter. And the whole thing is made out of channel. And it has the screws that hold it down to our countersunk. Drilled and done with the drill press over here. So I'll just get started in cutting them. So I've got the tape method put on here. We are doing it at 41 and a half inches here. I just use a square to get a very straight, sharp line. Um, put it on the tape measure and then use a screw to make the line. Do that on all sides. All right, guys, and just to clarify this, I'm gonna show you a little better how it goes together. I forgot to film some of the things I needed to to make the video complete, but I'll try to make it pretty clear. And I'm assuming if you're building this, you're pretty smart already, so you're gonna just figure it out like I did. So basically right here you can see this is your C-channel and then this is another C-channel and I have to cut out like this section so that they interlock kind of like Legos and you just put like fillet welds inside there with your 7018 or whatever you're using. So here's another demonstration, the other piece there and these inner fit into the C-channel like Legos and here would be the 6 inch slats, the half inch 6 inch slats that are countersunk drilled into each one of the C channels and how they all go together makes it incredibly um, strong and accurate and in the corners to actually um, put legs I use angle iron as you can see like quarter inch three inch angle iron you can do whatever substructure underneath you like and this is modeled off of what I've seen as like strong hands tools makes really nice ones but I couldn't afford to buy one of those so I just made these. So I clamped the square down where I wanted it so I can follow the line better and we'll just get to cutting.
you can see right here we have the, a go-kart frame that is being fixed here down to the table and you can set up stops really easily so you can make multiple of these but it holds everything perfectly flat and it works very well and um, right here is a final picture of the smaller table finish. Thanks for watching.